So now that we've derived a formula for the distance between two parallel lines, we're going to use it with these two here. So the first thing I'm going to do is identify the pieces. So the direction vector d I'm going to use as the direction vector of L1, so minus 5, minus 3, 8. Then uh, I'm going to have P, the position vector of P, um, which is minus 5, 10, 1. Okay, so the, so the position vector on L2 there. And A, uh, I'm going to use 2, 7, 3. Okay? Right, so using that then, um, we can work out P take away A. So minus 5 take away 2 is minus 7. 10 take away 7 is 3. 1 take away 3 is minus 2. So then we're going to have to find the uh, vector product of D and P take away A. So minus 5, minus 3, 8. And minus 7, 3, minus 2. So we've got um, minus 3 times minus 2. Uh, take away 8 times 3. So that's minus 18i. Then minus, minus 5 times minus 2, so 10. Uh, take away minus 7 times 8. So that's minus 66j. And then we've got minus 15, take away 21, so minus 36k. Right then, so this will be equal to the length of this vector. So 18 squared plus 66 squared plus 36 squared. So 5976 square rooted divided by the length of D. So 25 plus 9 plus 64. So root 98. So square root of 5976 divided by the square root of 98 is 6 root 83 over 7, which is 7.81 to three significant figures. Okay, and so that's how we can use the formula.